Hi fifth graders, I'm here at the Addison Victory Garden. Remember when you studied Victory Gardens in social studies? So Victory Gardens were planted during World War I and World War II to take the pressure off the public food supply brought on by the war. At Addison, the last maybe six to seven years, we have planted a Victory Garden with fifth grade as fifth grade year is ending. And that is something that the fifth grade class leaves as sort of a legacy to the incoming fifth grade class. Remember when we had salsa and chips at the beginning of Science Lab this year? That was from the Victory Garden. So every year when fifth grade begins, I try to make something in the Science Lab that the fifth graders can eat from the Victory Garden. So this year is no different, even though I'm gonna be planting by myself and actually Miss Miller, I believe is going to be helping. I wanna show you these gardens now because they're full of weeds. Although we have some chives, which is a perennial, which is a plant that returns year after year. So we're gonna leave that in. And then over here, this was a salsa garden. So this is our cilantro. And actually cilantro turns to coriander when it makes seeds. So when the flowers make seeds, after it gets pollinated, it'll be coriander, which is a different spice. Cilantro is growing great right now. There's some chives over here also. And in the herb garden, lots of mint. We've got lemon verbena, which is a mint. There's some thyme, which smells so good when you rub your hands on it. That actually smells like lemon thyme. And then down at the other end, that's mint. We have chocolate mint and spearmint. So we're gonna be transforming these gardens Right now, my job is to weed them, and then Miss Miller and I are going to plant, and we'll tell you all about it. Miss Miller has arrived with some beautiful plants. Can you go ahead and tell us what your plan is for the Victory Garden? Hey, fifth grade, been missing you. Well, on this garden, we make a salsa garden. As you see, we already have cilantro, and we already have some green onion. So we're going to add to that, we're going to add some tomato. We're going to put two tomato plants in this bed. And then we're going to put a bell pepper. And we're going to put some jalapenos to make it a little spicy. And then we put marigolds all around the plants. Marigolds are very good in your garden because they stop insects from eating the other plants. Awesome. Ms. Miller is spreading some brand new soil that we had delivered. If you see that yellow cube over there that's full of good soil, it's called hummus. It's got great nutrients in it. So we're adding some good new nutrients back into this garden bed. Ms. Miller has the first garden all laid out. Notice how she's Base the plants so they have plenty of room to grow. Tomatoes on either end, peppers, we've got marigolds to protect the plants from insects, and now it's time to plant. Salsa garden is in, ready to grow all summer and hopefully make good salsa for the incoming fifth graders. So we're moving on now to the garden next door that has mostly herbs already, but we're gonna plant cucumber seeds so they can grow up this trellis. 
first we dug a little ditch to put the seeds in. You see we made a mound of dirt. And now we're going to plant the cucumber seeds. Once they're planted, we cover them up. Now they just need to be watered. All right, this is going to be our Italian garden. We are going to plant some more tomato and we're gonna have cherry tomato. We have these chives, which still are growing fantastic from last year. And we're going to have some pepper, some banana pepper. So the Italian garden can be for making pizza sauce or um, pasta sauce, whatever you like. So of course our plants need water. So we're giving them a good drink before we go today. There is gonna be a sign up genius coming out to the families of Addison. Maybe you, your family can sign up and help water this summer and help keep our Victory Garden going. Thank you to Ms. Miller for getting plants and planting the Victory Garden for us. Bye, fifth graders. Bye. We sure miss you.